Hey everyone, today we're back working on our multi-language Bazel monorepo. We're going to be extending our usage of Gazelle to improve some of the automation around dependency management and build files in this Bazel monorepo. So first of all, um, as you may have seen, we're already using Gazelle to bring in our external dependency, our Go external dependency, which is Gorilla Mux. But right now this is kind of managed manually, which isn't so good. So we're going to be improving this a little bit. If you've worked with Go before, you're probably familiar with the go.mod file, which is used to keep track of all your dependencies and it can actually be automatically updated um, just using the Go CLI. And Go is able to look at your Go source code and figure out which dependencies you need and it will update the go.mod file based on that. So Gazelle kind of uh, works very closely with this and it's able to also use this go mod file. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna run go mod init and this is gonna initialize our go mod file. We're just naming our repository um, using the repository name like this. So this has created a go mod file, which is quite empty, it just has my module name and my go version, but it doesn't have any dependencies yet. So now I can run a command go mod tidy, which is going to pull in the dependencies that we need using the source code. So this is really nice that this works, even though we have multiple languages. It's basically looking at all the source code here and it knows the only dependency we need is this Gorilla Mux one. So this is all using go so far. We haven't actually started using Gazelle yet. So now with the Gazelle portion of this, we already are using the Gazelle rule set, which is called Bazel Gazelle. But if you aren't using this already, you can basically go into the releases tab here and um, you can see everything. They don't actually have the code for your workspace file here, but I guess it's in the main readme. So you can bring Gazelle in like this, uh, following this. But the part that we're interested in here is the update repos portion. So this is what can be used to keep your Bazel dependencies in sync with your Go mod file. So it's going to use Bazel to bring in the dependencies from the Go mod file. So let's just see. There should be a code block. Yeah, this is the one we're interested in. So this is basically a target. So a normal Bazel target that uses Gazelle. And you can see here it's going to use your Go mod file to write out a macro that also includes all of your Go dependencies. So let's just copy this and let's bring it into our build file in the root of our project, like this. I guess that we also need to bring in Gazelle, so we can do that like this. Cool, so from Bezo Gazelle, we're gonna bring in Gazelle and we have this single target called update repos, which is going to generate um, a Bezel macro using our go mod file that should contain all of our dependencies. So using this, we can run Bezel run update repos. So when we run this, a few things should happen and we should see some files start to change here. So first of all, we have this deps.bzl file, which interestingly is empty, but we'll come to that in a minute. Um, also in our workspace.bazel file, it is bringing in this deps macro, and it's going to call go dependencies to bring in all of the dependencies from that. But this is empty, which is kind of interesting. And this is kind of shows how smart um, Gazelle is, is that it sees that we are, we're already bringing Gorilla Mux in, in our workspace, so it doesn't try to bring it in again. But if we were to remove this, we don't need Go repository anymore, and we run this again, this time it should see that we don't have, we're not bringing in Gorilla Mux yet, so it needs to bring it in here like this. And if you had um, many dependencies in your Go mod, then all of these would be added uh, to the steps.bzl file. So this is this is cool. And it's all kind of automated. So you just need to run this Gazelle update repos script and everything happens behind the scenes. And then you have all of these dependencies available to you in your Bazel build system. So this is the first thing we wanted to use Gazelle for. 
But another thing that Gazelle is very good at is maintaining your build files and also keeping their syntax consistent. So going back here, we can see that there is another target here, which is just called Gazelle. And we can bring this in. And let's just bring the whole thing. Let's put this in our build file. So we just need to update the prefix with our repo name. Like that. And first of all, we just do a git status to show you what's changed so far. So we can see there's a few files. We have our workspace file where we removed mux. We have this build.bazel file where we now have two gazelle targets, one for update repos and one just with gazelle. We have our new go mod file, go some file, and we have this depths.bzl file that now contains all of our dependencies, which were previously in the workspace file. So now if we do bazel run gazelle, um, we're going to get a bunch more files changed. And this is going to show you what this gazelle, gazelle command does. This gazelle basically formats all of your build files for you. So it kind of does nice things like put things in alphabetical order um, and does your indentation and just keeps everything consistent. So we could do a git diff. Um, let's just look at this file to see what changed. And yeah, so it's basically sorting your attributes um, fixing indentation and things like that. Another nice thing it does though is it also automatically generates your Go build files for you. So for example, if I was to run um, to remove the mux dependency from this, um, this target would obviously fail. So if I was to do a basal run, uh, this is Go web, this target. Uh, maybe run. Oh, I guess it's go web. So this is going to fail um, because mux isn't provided as a dependency, even though the go file imports it. But if we run, um, if we run gazelle again, you can see that it fixes that and it puts the import in. And in fact, we could delete both of our go build files and whenever we run gazelle gazelle will automatically generate these so this is just really nice for having some consistency in your build files and on the go side actually being able to generate them completely automatically which is really cool you can also overwrite some things if you need um some stuff that the generation doesn't work for you can there's a directive you can use which will um ask gazelle to ignore certain lines and and things like that so this build file generation only works on the Go side by default. It's kind of built into Gazelle, but you can also use Gazelle. You can extend Gazelle to have this build file generation for other languages as well, um, using whatever kind of templates and, and formats you want. So that's cool. This has just been improving our multi-language monorepo a little bit using Gazelle. So we have um, on the Go side, we have some automation around our dependency management with our Go mod file, which is then synced back to this depths.bzl file, so we can use these dependencies in Bazel. And then we also have our build file formatting and auto-generation for Go. Thanks for watching.